Hey y'all! Uh, in our previous video, we are done with the setting of the Cloud Five Store, and we are we have seen how we can create the data, how we can communicate with the Cloud Five Store, and we have in the last video we have seen how we fetch the users' data, and we have displayed over here. So in this video, we will see how we can update the data. So for every user, we say it's a it creates a unique identifier. So based on its unique identifier, you can update your data. So we'll see how we can do that. So to do to update the data, as I already told you in our previous video, we can use the same function to. We can use the same function uh, to update the data, but we are not doing this. That instead, we are creating one more function which is uh, which updates the data. So what we'll do in this will so in this case let let me create a uh, new function which is future update. So here you instead update list. So what I need to I'll just pass. This four data. Same thing we are doing. Only thing is, instead of calling a set data, we just call a update data function over here. So that's so simple. That's what I'm saying. Even if you want to use the same thing, in few cases you can use uh, the create user data for creating and as well as updating data. But here uh, I'm using a separate function which is a create data. So to do that, let me write a small function over here. Return a wait. Like I have a profile list dot documents which is UID and update data. So update data is available. So let me go inside the update data and inside the update data again just pass this all right profile list dot document UID id dot update data okay what is wrong here okay it should be async okay fine so we have created a function to update the users list so next we need to go to use this function we need to go to our dashboard the first we need to get the user uid so to get the user uid so in our init dot state let me create a one more function over here to fetch the user uid fetch user info so i just named it a function as user info and here i'll call firebase user and get user is an instance of the firebase user so from this i'll create how it firebase from the authentication i'll get the current user because we have option only to update the current user data so what are you like in generally if you can update your information but you cannot do for everyone in the same manner so we will get the current user information so that user information i'll store it in a string form i'll store it in some string and i'll name it as user id it's dummy data in. and here under user id i'll pass the get user instance over here get user id dot uid so this is how i'll get the uh, current user uid so i'll call it I'll call it inside my fetch user info so here i'll call it so now i have the user id only thing is i need to update it so to do the update if you do remember when we tap on the uh, top update uh, edit button here this will display a dialog box so in this from this dialog box we are updating the data so here to do that let's go to a open dialog box at the bottom so as we created in our previous video if you do remember so and create a submit function over here so when sub uh, when the user taps on the submit button here here when user taps on the submit button what we are doing is we'll create one submit action that in this just pass your context and this creates a submit method okay inside the submit action what you need to do is we'll simply call the update data so
just create one more uh, which is an update one so what I'll do I'll call the fetch users list here I'll create one more what I'll do is I want to update the data and once data is updated I want to refresh the list to do that I just create one more function over here which is update data so in this I will pass four parameters which is a string name string gender string score string user id so what I'll do so I'll call a function which is inside uh, sorry and this is an async and I create a way so I'll call my database manager so inside database manager so this is an update user list here I'll pass name sorry. so here I have four name gender score in user ID so in the place of UID I'll simply pass user ID okay I'm done and after this once I'll pass the data to update user list and after this once this is success and immediately I'll call this fetch data list function so this will update my data over here so let's see how we can do that so here I need to call the newly created function so which is update data so in this update data I need to pass the parameters which is name controller dot text and I have a gender controller dot text and score controller so score is an integer right so I need to parse it and I need to convert to integer and the string to integer and done and finally user id so user id is the same thing I have created here so now once everything is fine what I need to do is so I have to clear the fields gender controller dot clear and finally score controller dot clear okay uh, if you see and you have to call this from a submit function so once the submit function it automatically dismiss, dismisses the pop-up and the user will update its data so let's see so currently we have logged in with the name john christine okay let's let's re-login it one more time see right now we have only two users i'm just refreshing it right now we have only one user two users and in the database file we see we have two users one is a john christine and the other one is a Pallavi and Pallavi score is 100 and the John Christian is 100 so I want to update it so if you see the Pallavi gender also we have given it as a male because initially when we are creating a user registration we are passing this data as a dummy data now we want to update this data so for Pallavi I want to change this gender to a female so let me let me let me show here so I, I'll, I just want to log in with Pallavi's account so I have registered with this Pallavi gmail.com and let me go inside so once i click the login so it will take me into the then it has displayed the records john christian and pallavi so now i have logged in using pallavi's uh, username so i can edit only the pallavi data so yeah and i click on here so here i am just entering all the data pallavi so previously this is gender now i am changing to a female and score 100 now i want to give 1000 so when i click submit so what happened if you see immediately that record is updated here if you see immediately previously it is Pallavi as male now it's changed it to female now and also a score previously it's 100 and it has changed it to 1000 so this is how you can work with the Firebase cloud store this is how you can work with the file store uh, database in your Firebase so this is so simple the thing is we just create an authentication when you have a proper authentication we have created a database manager in this database manager we have created uh, user data and update the data and get all the data this is how so simple you can use a firebase and no doubt for maintaining your limited users you can use firebase so this is so simple this is how we can create a user and you can change the data dynamically with a real-time database 
if you have to learn more about flutter and i have a separate playlist which is a flutter tutorial for beginners and i'll leave the link in the description below if you want you can learn and uh, so i have covered almost all the uh, basic uh, i have covered almost all the basic fundamental concepts in the flutter and and also the advanced concepts if you want you can go and uh, and learn